I'm not usually one who believes in the paranormal, unexplained, hocus-pocus like ghouls, goblins, gnomes, ghosts, and birds. But, with this situation, I am starting to believe there might be something that science can't explain. Three days ago I made that video on Kenneth Copeland, the man whom I believe to be a demon in human skin. He's an outrageously wealthy, corrupt preacher who uses faith to fuck the piggy banks of all of his followers to take as much money from them as possible and hoard it all for himself. And on the same day that I posted that video, this peculiar piece of information drops about an unhinged pastor going on a rant defending rapists who assault women for wearing shorts. It's just an interesting coincidence that that all broke on the same day that I was covering Kenneth Copeland. It's like that phenomenon, like in Grand Theft Auto, where you see a car you've never seen before, you steal that car, and then all of a sudden you see it everywhere. It's one of those things where I made that video, and it's not like I go out of my way looking for, like, corrupt preachers or anything like that, but then I saw this happening at the same time. And it's just one of those head-scratching moments, like, is this a message from the universe letting me know that it can always be worse? You know, in the words of Qui-Gon Jinn, there's always a bigger fish. This is the kind of preaching we need. I told my wife, I said, Mama, when you go, when we go to Fish and Forge, uh, to the outlet malls when you go uptown here. Goober's out here looking like Kingpin from Enter the Spider-Verse. He's got that fucking wide bowling ball build here. His name is Bobby Leonard. And the way he delivers his sermons is a lot like a record constantly skipping a little bit, like he's glitching out constantly. And I have no doubt that's because he's this archaic fossil of a man. And I know that might sound a little harsh, and I'd almost feel bad for insulting this senile geriatric octogenarian, but he's also defending rape. So I really don't feel bad at all. He's a piece of shit. We'll go up to sit, sit in the parking lot at, at the Outland Mall, I mean the mall here. I said, you watch it. I said, tell him, you'll find more women going to have shorts on than you're with pants and dresses put together. Oh, oh, say it ain't so. Shorts on as a woman? Those whores. Those harlots. Charlatans. Oh my goodness, Bobby. You're right. What an astute observation. It's so despicable. Bl uh, wearing shorts as a female? Have some, have some decency. Have some class. Have some shame. Oh, goodness gracious. So Bobby's sitting in the parking lot just looking at women, I guess. Sounding like a real creepy weirdo here just sitting in his car looking at all the girls that go into the mall. Probably got some fucking binoculars out spying on them with hand on his meat. And he's just pointing out to his wife, look at this, can you believe it? There's more girls going in there with shorts than there are girls going in there with dresses and pants. Uh, who could have who guessed, huh? Heavens to Betsy. So I sat there, I just want to be sure, but I sat there some time ago for, I don't know who's out in the, I guess it must have been some of the family. Uh, my wife don't, don't go let shop it down. And I sat there in my car. What the fuck did you just say there, Bobby? It sounded like he casted an ancient spell. If I popped that sentence into Google Translate, it would destroy the service globally. It'd shut that bitch down because this is incomprehensible. What in the world? He just hit a full-blown scat man in the middle of his sermon. Sounded like Porky Pig. I thought, I'm okay. I'm going to see if that's right. And I counted. Try that. you find more women go in those places with shorts than you will women with pants and dresses put together. Try it. Yeah, go ahead, everyone. Try it. Land yourself on the sex offenders registry for being some kind of alarming creep in your car just looking at women's... <laughs> bottom half to count if they're wearing shorts versus dresses or pants. Very normal thing to do for a sane individual, Bobby. Great advice. What a, what a remarkable challenge to issue your followers. He is way too fucking old to be speaking in front of people, by the way. He actually talks as if there's just perpetually peanut butter in his mouth and he's struggling to get through the words so that way he could, like, enunciate them. It's brutal listening to him blabbermouth like this. If you got time, try it. Have your boy go up there and try it. Just watch for it. Have your girl go up and watch for it. And you know, uh, I, I used to say this. Now, I haven't said this in a long time. You ready? I said, if, if you dress like that and you get raped and I'm on the jury, he's going to go free. Now, you don't like, do you? I'm right, though. I, I can't help you don't like it. I'm right. Because, you know, a man's a man. A, a man's a man. Jiminy Christmas. 
Bobby rapings his hobby, Leonard, just saying flat out with his whole chest, if a woman gets raped and he's on the jury and she was wearing shorts, he would let the rapist go free. What an outrageously evil individual you are, Bobby. What what chapter of the Bible was this in? I don't remember this excerpt anywhere. When I first read these headlines, I thought it was potentially it being interpreted as a pastor defending rapists. But nope, he just outright says it. He He's not beating around the bush. He's not trying to hide anything. He's going full mask off, just saying point blank that if he is on the jury and a woman gets raped and she's wearing shorts, Bobby would let the rapist go free. What a dangerous thought process that is. He just believes that men are going to rape a woman because she's in shorts and that they're justified in doing so? This leads me to so many questions I'd like to ask Bobby on a personal level. For instance, how many women have you sexually assaulted because of their clothing choice, Bobby? That was probably too many words. His brain can't process all that. Let me break it down in simpler terms. How many women have you raped, Bobby? I feel as though the only people that would ever defend a heinous action such as rape would be a rapist. Like, I don't think you have many rape allies. And meanwhile, Bobby Leonard here, in front of the entire church service, takes time to justify that. So that is really alarming shit. I don't know how this plays into Christianity at all. I don't know why he would say any of this during a sermon. I don't know what he expected to happen. Like, I, I was with my wife the other day looking at girls going in the mall. And they're all wearing shorts and stuff. And you know what? I used to say this. I'm going to say it right now. If a woman's wearing shorts and she gets raped and I'm on the jury, that man's going free. Can I get an amen? Hey, what, what, what are all these booze for? Uh, when I was a boy, 85 years ago, for 80 years ago, uh, I was raised in Martinsville, Virginia, partly in Moxfield, North Carolina. Uh, you, you didn't, you never, you, listen, I don't even remember women wearing anything but dresses. So what, you senile worm? It doesn't matter what a woman is wearing, she shouldn't be raped. Rape is bad no matter what. There's no justifying it, you absolute fucking scumbag. Back then, well, anyway, I'm gonna, I'll leave, I, 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 don't you, I don't you go home depressed tonight. I'd rather go home encouraged, but I want you to go home wanting to serve God. But uh, it, it, it seems that we've paid no, it seems like we've paid no attention to God. Oh yeah, this is all about God at the end of the day here. Yeah, I'm sure this whole little tangent you're going on is very biblical. You know, the Lord was famous for justifying rape. You know, in fact, it was the 11th commandment that unfortunately Moses just left at the top of the mountain. Thou shalt not rape unless it is a woman wearing shorts. Am I right, Bobby? Isn't that right? And the Bible says sometime that people think God has delayed his coming. And so as a result, a, a result of thinking God delayed his coming, uh, they begin to eat and drink and be drunken. And, and it seemed like right tonight, uh, if, if people, if, if all of our people... Everybody, everybody that comes to our church thought that Jesus was coming Friday night, Saturday morning. You think they'll all be here? What are you even saying? Are you drunk? Are you overdosing on Xanax? What is going on? There wasn't even a coherent thought in that entire, like, long fucking slurred speech there. That was actually nothing. It was a whole bunch of gobbledygook. There was nothing there. They're just letting anyone be a pastor these days, I guess. It's actually super interesting that the only time he's even lucid, like the only time when he's talking that makes any sense, is when he's saying that if he was on the jury and a woman got raped wearing shorts, the man would go free. That's the only thing he actually said that he didn't stumble his way through the statement of saying a man's a man, a man's a man. So he would let the rapist go free. Maybe it's because that's the only thing he truly believes out of everything he was spouting during the sermon. So he, that's the only thing he was able to deliver with conviction without just like falling and stumbling his way through his statements. It's horrifying. What a fucking sickening individual. Now, he did respond to the backlash, basically just apologizing. He said, I am sorry for any hurt. I was wrong. So extremely concise. And I feel as though he's not sorry, he just doesn't like all of the negative attention it's brought to him in the church. 
Also, apparently the way he apologized was by putting it on their sign out front, so like the fucking billboard. I am sorry for any hurt, I was wrong. Pastor Leonard. Literally has it like a new McDonald's item that they put on those boards out front of McDonald's. <laughs> That's where he posted his apology for all of it. Again, I don't think he's remorseful even slightly. I think that's what he truly believes. He is a piece of shit. That's really about it. So yeah.